Now you wrote it. I wrote this book. Oh my God! Does your mom know about it? Yeah, yeah, I read it to her. What did she say? She laughed. Oh my God! I'll be laughing in a minute. Okay, so here lies the Ten Commandments of being a real nigga. This book possesses the power to transform bitch niggas into okay. real niggas. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Oh, be nice. Be, be, be nice. nice. Don't no. cut this out. Go. I'm listening. All right. Follow these ten commandments, and you'll find yourself entering the platinum gates of the real nigga kingdom. Let's address a few questions you may ask, uh -oh. you may be asking yourself. Uh oh, can I be a real nigga even if I'm not black? Absolutely, my nigga. My grandmother Granners was full white and she is the realest nigga I have ever met. That's true. That's, <laughs> that's very true. That is so true. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. So is, oh my God, don't get me started. So is your brother's daddy and a long story. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I interrupted. Yeah, yeah. I'm so mad I forgot to say this at her funeral. Another question you may have is, can I say the N-word? It depends who you're around. I'm sure you like to call the cashier at your local grocery <laughs> store my nigga, but you'll have to use your own judgment and weigh the consequences. Excuse me. Can I, I like to say, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> and I'll be serious about it. Okay. And I'll be so hot. You piss me off. Oh, you yeah, piss yeah. me off, one time I'm done. Yeah. Showing them you have a book titled The Real Nigga Bible may not be justifiable enough for them to be convinced that you're allowed to say it. Try it and send me some cash telling me the story. <laughs> Greg. <laughs> Greg. <laughs> oh my God. Are you black or Mexican? <laughs> I'm all of them. Oh yeah, you're Greg. You're a mutt? Yeah. Greg. A bunting pot. Yes. Greg, do I have to eat more chicken and watermelon? <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> to be black. To be black. To be oh I love watermelon. <laughs> I, I love fried chicken. Yeah. I love french fries. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. The number one question you probably have is, Greg, what is a real nigga? Oh, thanks. <laughs> it's a question that has puzzled niggas for centuries. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that book sold? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's little niggas. <laughs> it could be hard to define what a real nigga is. Oh. That's why the fuck I'm writing this book to settle the debate once and for all. Okay, let's hear it. A real nigga is the closest thing we have to a superhero. I a like that. A real nigga is the most honorable goal to be strived towards by the human race. Happy guy. Yeah. Elon Musk is a real nigga. Really? Who's Michael, that? Michael Jordan is a real yes, nigga. Yes, my Jordan. My George. That's <laughs> my nigga. Martin Luther King. Amen. Real nigga. Real. The truth is, the world needs more real niggas. God will be greater. <laughs> and after doing absolutely no research, I came to the conclusion that a book like this doesn't exist, and it's up to me to write it. How did you do that? I just fucking wrote it, dude. I don't know. How did you? I mean, how did you actually do it? I mean, you just you did it and just did it. Just fucking wrote it, man. It's wonderful. Keep going. Thank I'm you. sorry. Yeah. I interrupt. I, yeah. Your mom laughed. Yeah, laugh, dude. I can't okay, wait. how about this? P.S. I wrote this book for the sole purpose of getting bitches. If you're oh. cute and single, let's go on a date. <laughs> I put my email address in there. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, no comment. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. All right. Real, <laughs> real nigga commandment number one: Thou shalt believe in yourself. Yes. All real niggas have massive belief in themselves. Every real nigga got a motherfucker named Super Nigga inside of them. Gangster. Super Nigga believes he can back any bitch, have a def have a chance at defeating Usain Bolt in a race, and even defy the laws of physics. Yes. <laughs> what separates real niggas from delusional <laughs> niggas is real niggas take action. They mamas. <laughs> dumb bitch, you fucking dumb bitch. Don't <laughs> get me started. Don't get me started. Real nigga commandment number two. Thou shalt ignite the devil's lettuce. What do you mean? Real niggas smoke weed. I like weed. Real, real niggas prefer indica over sativa. <laughs> it's a real, it's a well-known real nigga fact. Okay, wait, what about your mama? What does she like? She smokes indica, bro. I do too. <laughs> I like pre-roll. I like, like pre-roll. Like pre okay. They are the best. Okay, for so, I'm sorry. There's something about smoking a blunt that gives some of us our real nigga powers. I don't like blunts at all. Okay. They're hard to roll. 
if you ever see a nigga smoking from a dab rig, that nigga hangs out with white people. Is that a bitch? <laughs> oh, that's cold. Oh, that's cold. Don't be judging. <laughs> Dude, shut up, dude. This is this is a book called The Real Nigga Bible, bro. That was, that was me. That was me. <laughs> That's not me, bro. It's the truth. <laughs> no right. comment. That was me. Real Nigga Commandment number three. Thou shalt have one OG in your life. You better. <laughs> if I have to define OG to you, you're automatically disqualified. Automatically. Medical. <laughs> Beat it, bitch. <laughs> Call <laughs> your mama. That dumb bitch. Dumb <laughs> <Drop it> white. That's <laughs> 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 fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, an OG is someone who has taken huge risks in life and has specific knowledge to pass down to the younger generation. Amen. The Crips and Bloods have OGs. I'm a Blood. Okay. The entrepreneur space does as well. There are plenty of multimillionaires that are happy to give game to young, ambitious entrepreneurs. I agree. Real niggas have at least one OG in their life. They better. If they're real. Yeah. Real nigga commandment <laughs> number four. Thou shalt have your own life principles. Gangsta. Big Worm, a.k.a. Big Perm. In the <laughs> I'm bold. In the movie Friday. My favorite movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. My favorite. One and two. <laughs> okay. Was willing to kill Craig and Smokey over $200 because Smokey could hold up his end of the stick. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, a guard shitting like a nigga. He was shitting like a nigga. Shit immediately became life and death. <laughs> Real niggas do not play when it comes to principles, nigga. I agree. Many niggas lose their lives every year to another nigga over principles. Haters. You may ask, but what principles do real niggas follow? The first Thanks principle that. is real niggas decide their own principles. Real niggas don't let anybody tell them how to live. Ever. Real niggas decide what's important for them and stand for that shit. You don't get mad at me. You suck my dick, bitch. I'm gonna fuck go to hell. hell. Fuck you and your mama, bitch. All right. Real nigga commandment number five. Thou shalt say the word nigga. <laughs> Real nigga say the word nigga. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> uh, that was cold. <laughs> that was cold. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Hold on, let me regroup. Let me breathe for a minute. That was cold. Damn. No way. All right. Wait, hold on. Go. Go, Bob. Real niggas say the word nigga. This is a simple one, but it disqualifies a lot of potential candidates. My niece is 19, and I've been trying to get her to say nigga since she was a child. She never has. She is too. Do ya? Yeah. She is two syllables away from cementing her legacy as a real nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Where, oh god. Oh god. Is this an autobiography? What is this? <laughs> this is an autobiography. <laughs> Am I included in the book? Oh, that's his uncle. He's black. He's gay. Oh my god. What's my part? <laughs> All right. It is oh okay god. to ask your black friends if you can say it around them. Address the elephant in the room. Express yeah. your deepest desires to your local real nigga. Quick note from author. My love language is getting head. My favorite kind of head is the kind that is random and unexpected. Real nigga commandment number six. <laughs> Thou shalt overcome difficult shit. Dance to grow up. All real niggas have been in a fucked up situation and use what they had to get themselves into a Does position. age matter? Does age I'm matter? I'm 62. <laughs> I am right now. I'm old. I'm almost 70. That's old. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> real niggas don't see themselves as victims. While Man, real, gangsta. While real niggas have gone through plenty of shit, it made them much stronger. That's some real nigga shit. That's the truth, Ruth. <laughs> real nigga commandment number seven. Thou shalt not trust the government. Every real nigga alive has said the words, I ain't getting that fucking vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm not saying a word. I'm not saying a word. <laughs> I used to know God. That's what I'm just saying. Sorry. Continue. All right, real nigga commandment number eight. 
Thou shalt eat a seafood boil two to three times a year. Real niggas love crab legs, shrimp, corn on the cob, and I Sprite. Do. I do too. It's mandatory. And watermelon. <laughs> right. Hell yeah. Real nigga commandment number nine. Thou shalt have a dope natural skill. Meaning? All real niggas have some sort of natural gift. I can braid hair. Some niggas are naturally great at video games. I'm not. Others are naturally great at fucking bitches. I'm gay. One thing is for sure, that shit came natural to this. <laughs> Gangsta. Real nigga commandment number 10. Thou shalt be fucking hilarious. Uh, that's nice. <laughs> Every real nigga you know is fucking hilarious. It all depends who it is. <laughs> Some niggas be piss me the fuck out of that bitch. <laughs> Don't give me socks. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me socks. <laughs> I can't fight. <laughs> there will be great debate around this commandment. Specifically from non funny niggas. Yeah. But who the fuck listens to anybody who isn't funny? <laughs> <laughs> no comment again. <laughs> All right. Why oh, I wrote this book. Hi, Jenna. Hi, Jalen. This book is so wonderful. <laughs> you know, I wrote a book. Will it be a part two? Uh, maybe. It's really great. Yeah? You like it? Oh, I love it. It's so. I'm not included, though. <laughs> <laughs> Keep on reading. I'm not, we're not done here, are we? Okay, yeah. Why well, I wrote this book. Um, Jalen's here now, but if you want to read that first sentence, it says, Besides delicious wet pussy. All right. I met my first mentor when I was 19. I was a shy, insecure kid who was confused on fuck on what I wanted to do with my life. My mentor was in his 50s, built like Hercules, and was a multimillionaire in the 1990s. Really? He hypnotized me into believing in myself. No one had ever made me feel like I was capable of doing great things in my life. Not even me. <laughs> No, no, especially Fuck you. Especially you. <laughs> Nobody I ever spoke cold. to me the way he did. Good. I decided to go for the biggest thing I can possibly imagine. Travel the world while having my own business. I became obsessed with success. You did that. I read a book a week. I listened to podcasts and books on the way to work. I took psychedelics. I did float tanks. I invested over $30,000 into my own self-education. Really? Oh, yeah. You mean like that? Huh? You see me a penny, you dirty motherfucker. <laughs> Fast forward, you're just gonna buy them. You're just gonna use it on beer. Fast oh, forward six years. I'm gonna hold it. <laughs> okay. Fast forward six years to April 2021. I bought a one-way ticket Glass to up. London. Glass Glass out. Here is I bought a one-way ticket to London with yeah. 2K in my bank account to meet my business partner for the first time and live out our dreams. I remember. I ran out of money within four woman. weeks. Yeah, yeah. I ran out of money within four weeks of being in London. We launched our product a week later and made $9,000 in our business, which gave us breathing room. Really? We were broke as fuck trying to figure out how to support our lifestyle. And we managed to figure out how to travel for a full fucking year. It was the greatest experience of my life. I remember. We had priceless adventures doing the craziest shit while we were broke. <laughs> we lived with our $50 million mentor in Santa Monica for a month. Really? We had dinner with a prince in the Palace of Versailles in France. I like that. That's very nice. Yeah. That's my fave. I like yeah. that one. Yes. Dude, I showed this to a table at the restaurant I work at, and they took this picture of me. <laughs> they loved it. That's a very nice photo. Totally you. Yeah. What's up? What's up, Jalen? Look at Jalen. He is so... Boy, Uncle Junior is going to be rich. A millionaire. Mucho pedia. Yeah, I... <laughs> uh, spider Man, Spider Man, Spider Man. <laughs> he said, ah, hey, Jay, Jay, Jay. He shot his web at you. <laughs> That's my boy. Uh, yeah. That is so nice. I, I, think, I think I'm about to get rich off of this, bro. You might. It's, it's so possible. So, what's the money? What do you do with it? I don't know. Well, first and foremost, I, I have friends that I have from all around the world, man, that I want to go see. I know, I know. I miss them so you much. You got me in California. Yeah, and that's not enough. Huh? Ah, psh, 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 psh. You said what? Win. A Pulitzer, a Grammy, or an Oscar, or what? I don't fucking know, bro. But I think I'm going to be making millions. As long as you say my nephew, don't let me go until I die. 
<laughs> well, you ain't got much time left. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I, like you know, I'm glad I got to read this from my Uncle Jody while he was here. Amen. You read to your mom. She loves it. You can't fix this phone? I don't know, bro. The, your phone mechanic. is fucked up, nigga. I'm not a mechanic. I'm an author. Oh, my parents. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, that was gay. <laughs> that was just rudeness. <laughs> I don't care. They have an author. A very good one, too. Thank you. See, and the thing about this book is people immediately want to tell people about it. Duh. <laughs> yeah. And like that's the like that's the best form that's of marketing. How you sell things. That's the best way of marketing. Yes, is having you market for me. If that's I tell you about, I, that's why I asked you. It's gonna be a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. I mean, meaning another book about. I don't know. I'm asking. Really? You. That was very good. Really? You and your mom laughed and liked it. Yeah, yeah. I called Julio, told him all about it. Yeah. He'll call you back too. They're like, "Where's Joe at?" <laughs> my phone ain't working. You can't fix my phone. You should be a mechanic. You did fix everything. Shut up, nigga. I don't fix anything. I write books. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, I'm a fucking author, bro. You are, dude. How'd you get it? I mean, how'd you get it published and everything? Easy through Barnes and Noble's website, man. Look, really? Yeah, dude. Let me show you. You sent your script in, and they just read it and just sent it out and backed it up like and that. And they said, "All right, here, look at, check it out." Uh, it's on Barnes and Noble. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. By Greg Santos. Yeah. Oh. That's my book. Seventeen dollars. Yeah. <coughs> Damn. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> 